All right, you clicked on the video, how I made $100,000 from YouTube. Whether you know who I am, watch any of my fishing, uh, fishing videos, or have watched any of my channel or not, I'm gonna explain in detail how I did this. And a lot of people, a lot of people like me would, would have come into this video with preconceived notions. You know, I didn't have any experience. No, I didn't have any experience. I didn't have any background in making videos. Barely had any experience fishing. Didn't know any other YouTubers. You know, nothing was, there was nobody that was really, nobody even told me to make these videos. Nobody was really even encouraging me hardly to make these videos. But um, I started making YouTube videos and right now here I am. I'm just over 95,000 subscribers. I've made over $100,000 from YouTube. Um, I've, had, I've made over 550 videos, 25 million views. And um, I'm, I'm doing this as a full-time job right now in August of 2021. Uh, to, to explain it all, I, I, I've, I've told the story to several people, but it's always bits and pieces. It's, I, I love hearing a good story. I'm not the best at telling a good story, but I'm gonna try to tell you the story of how I am, how I've gotten to where I am today, and how I know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, everything in my life pretty much has led me to doing this right now. So we're gonna have to go back uh, and start the story back when I was six years old. All right, I'm fighting off mosquitoes sitting here in my backyard. I've been, uh, I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while. I keep pushing it off and, and you know, doing other stuff, but I want to get my whole story out there. I think it'll help some people. Hopefully it'll encourage people. Uh, hopefully, you know, it'll just, you know, help people out that are making a YouTube channel or maybe, maybe doing anything in life. Um, it'll encourage them. Um, and uh, so there, there, there's, I'm trying to get through a lot here. So let's start, six years old. This is, this is really, when all things started getting into place. When I was six years old, uh, me, my family and I, we moved to Campbellsville, Kentucky. My dad took over a pastor of a church. Now he, he uh, I think this was his first church he pastored. We, we moved there, uh, there was a parsonage, there was this, like a house that lives beside, that, that's beside the church that we lived in. So this at this church, obviously I was like very grounded in church. That was a big part of my life. At this church, there was blacktop, which was awesome back then in the 90s. And um, there was a basketball goal. Uh, I ended up blacktop and I love that. I love, I just, I, I don't know why I like basketball so much, but I love basketball. So I started playing basketball all the time. Also at this, at this uh, place where we live, the church, the house, blacktop, basketball goal, and behind it there's a little creek, a small little creek. I've been back to it since I've been an adult and I don't even know where the water went. <laughs> it's like I can step across it. So I, I don't know if it just, in my mind it was a lot bigger or if it really changed, because I went there not too long ago and it was like a little bitty stream. I don't even know how I caught a single fish out of it. I remember this creek very vividly, things I remember doing there. I had no idea, you know, it would, the memories and things that, that I did and explored and adventures and just time spent in the in the creek would, would matter, you know, tw over 20 years later. So I, I would catch crawdads and I would, little darters. I had no idea what they were. I remember catching Sun, green, uh, um, green sunfish and bluegill, and I knew they were different, but I had no idea. I just called everything a bluegill. Uh, I remember seeing some little bass in there and different, all kinds of different species, and I just remember noticing there's differences in these little fish. I, everything here's cool. I would catch snakes and, you know, frogs and turtles and, and minnow traps and, and scoop them up in buckets. Just all kinds of exploring and just a little bitty stream that I always wonder, like, what, what goes on? Where does it go into? What's after that? Um, so that's from like 6 to 10, I lived there, had a blast, um, I learned a lot about basketball. Also, the biggest thing in my life that happened there was I got saved. I, I came to a point, I think I was, I was right around 6, almost 7, and I realized I needed to trust Jesus as my Savior. So at that point, um, my mom actually, I, I like talked to her, I was like, I, I, I don't want to go to hell, I know I want to go to heaven, I know that I, I need to be saved to be able to go to heaven. And um, I under, finally understood that, so I prayed and asked the Lord to save her, put my faith and trust in Him. You know, I became a Christian that day, and um, I wanted to live my life for the Lord and do what He wanted me to do, um, no matter what it was. You know, I, I didn't really, I mean, obviously at that point, I had no idea what I wanted to do, and I didn't know what I could do. So, um, time goes by, I'm, uh, at 10 we move. Around 11, um, we're living in Knoxville, Tennessee, and going to a, a big church there in the area, and uh, I thought the Lord was wanting me to be a preacher, uh, like a pastor or a preacher or something like that, and uh, I just kind of felt that that that's what the Lord was leading to me uh, to be. So I actually, I remember going forward and um, you know, the pastor with the sex in there and I remember like going forward and he's like, all right, write down your Bible. You are surrendering to be a preacher. You know, you're, you're dedicating your, you know, dedicate your life to being that. And you know, and this is what God wants you to do. And 
I marked it down in my Bible and I was like, yeah, this is what it is. So, um, you know, 11, 12, 13, uh, I think we moved again, moved to Middle Tennessee around uh, 12 years old, you know, and I'm, I'm huge into basketball. I love basketball, still love basketball. Um, playing, playing sports. Uh, I, uh, we go to a Christian school there, um, helping out at the church, whatever I can do, you know, as a teenager. Um, all, all this time I'm growing and I, I realize that I am wanting to live for the Lord. I want to do what, you know, God wants me to do. I'm trying to be a, a, the best Christian I can be. I start, you know, tithing, you know, I'm supposed to give 10% to the Lord, uh, giving extra to missions, just, you know, starting getting a job, 15, 16, and um, just just doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing. And But about this time, 15, 16, 17, you know, I'm junior, starting to think about my future i start to decide i start to feel like I'm, i don't want to be i'm not called to be a preacher you know you, if you i'm not called to really go to like a, a bible college to learn just how to be a a, a preacher things like that which i thought that earlier and uh I, that my desires changed i you know and i felt like the lord i mean he didn't want me to do that so I'm, I'm you know i'm trying to follow what god wants me to do and just you know he's guiding this way and that way so uh, I come up, I, 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 play, I play in sports, I fish a little bit, I'm always interested in fishing, but I, I never really fished a ton during this time. I kind of just fish every once in a while, fishing up the bank to catch whatever I could catch, usually just worms or go to a pond and catch some bass, something, something simple like that. I remember I, I would, every spring or so I'd go and buy like a new, uh, like Abu Garcia combo. I just remember buying these, you know, it's like $40 combo and I was like, oh, this is a nice combo right here, $40 rod and reel. And um, you'd be like something like that. I, I think that was a lot of money um, for a rod and reels. And I, you know, I'd buy a new combo, buy you know this and that. Just kind of always interested in it. Just didn't do it a lot. No one ever. No one really took me fishing much. I'd go with my uncle every once in a while. Maybe my dad would go every once in a while. He didn't really fish much. Never went out on boats fishing or anything like that. Um, so I'm up to high school, I graduate, and uh, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. And, and right after I graduated, I, I really didn't know what I was going to do. I, I thought about going to play co like basketball in, some, in college, like a little bit. I was like, I, I could pursue that if I really wanted to. Just, just didn't really have the drive to go do that, put that much effort into it. So I actually go to a, a tech school right down the road um, to do HVAC. And it had like a year degree or year class. So I'm like, yeah, that's, that sounds great. That sounds like something I'd be interested in doing. I like working on my hands. I like messing with trucks and just fixing things. Go to HVAC class. Get a year and I'm, I'm ready to start working. I get out and I start a job doing HVAC. Quickly, I moved up to like service and doing repairs. And I actually work at this company um, in uh, Milton Tennessee there for nine years doing HVAC, which, you know, I'm getting raises. I buy a house at this time, you know. When I was like 21, I bought a house. Um, I'm piddling with trucks. I'm, I'm always going to church. I'm faithful to that. I'm uh, involved with bus ministry. I love, uh, I was picking up kids and uh, being a captain of a bus route, doing children's church, um, you know, buying stuff out of my own pocket, you know, snacks and games and things like that, just because I felt the Lord had blessed me with a, you know, a pretty good job. Um, you know, I was doing, I was pretty good with my finances. I'm not awesome with finances, but I, you know, I'm, I'm not just going in debt, borrowing money, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm decent with finances. I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. Um, date a few different girls, trying to find out what's, what the Lord wants for me for my life. Um, just, but all the time, just trying to, you know, do what's right, trying to read my Bible, trying to follow him. And at this time, uh, I get, there's a verse that I came across that I felt like this was like a verse for my life. I think everybody should have like a, a verse from the Bible. It's like their, maybe their life verse, or maybe it's something that's just like, this verse means a lot to me. And mine was 2 Thessalonians 4, 11 and 12. Let me read that. And that you study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that you may walk honestly toward them that are without and that you may have lack of nothing. I was great at minding my own business, just working. Uh, you know, I wasn't a real vocal person as far as I, I, I did. I did well in like children's church stuff, but outside that, I'm, I'm not the guy that's gonna be speaking up all the time or just be real loud and drawing attention to myself or anything. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go about do my job and do a good job at it and just keep plugging away. And um, you know, at, but at this point, I'm, a, I'm at 26, and it was uh, around is 2014. I just something had to change I, I couldn't figure out what it was i was like i just i wanted i tried to switch jobs i was thinking about changing jobs and i was like i don't know and i couldn't find another company i really liked to work for i like doing hvac and i was like I, I need to do something different and this is a huge thing that that changed the course of my life 
instead of just staying there, I had a house there, you know, I had, I had a couple of different trucks that I was always piddling with and, you know, some friends and stuff like that. And then I'm, I'm like, I need to do something different. So I decided to move. I, it, the Lord worked it out where there was another job in East Tennessee that my, my sister lived in the area. I had two sisters live in the area. And um, one of them knew this person. They were looking for a technician. I called and talked to the guy, waited a couple of months, and I'm like, yeah, I'm moving. So I ended up moving across, uh, across the state to East Tennessee, start work right away. Uh, that was in 2014, the end of 2014. So I got right into another HVAC job. I love it company, great company. I'm like, this, this is the company I need to be working for. You know, actually, I took a little bit of a pay cut, but it was a lot better job a lot better company to work for, um, and I was I was happy. Uh, so I uh, I got an apartment. First time I ever got an apartment. Sold and threw away so many truck parts and just pieces. You know, if you if you're a, like a a mechanic type person or whatever, you just you collect all kinds of things. I had all kinds of sh old Chevy truck parts and like giving them away, throwing them away, trying to just get rid of stuff. I had all these tools and things. I'm like I'm trying to find a place to put them and you know just stick them in somebody's house and stuff like that. So. I kind of like all of a sudden huge drastic change of always spending money and piddling with um, you know trucks or always have time you know all my time was spent doing something to where I'm in a new town um, in an apartment and I got to find a new hobby and I quickly picked up fishing again as a, a more of a hobby or as I did more often. So about 2015, been here about a year, and I, I'm, I'm exploring these creeks, and I'm telling people about them, like, I, I caught this fish over here, and I caught this fish, I have no idea what it was, I gotta go explore it some more. I found this creek over here, and I'm, I'm right by the mountains here, and I, there's all kinds of places up there, and uh, there's a couple guys that I work with that they were kind of into that type of fishing too, and I'm like, this, I love this type of fishing. I love just small creeks and just exploring, and just, you know, I was enthusiastic about it because I kind of had revived it, and uh, revived it in my in myself, and um, I, also as I moved here, there was a church that I got right back involved with, um, back at the children's church and doing the bus stuff. So I'm I'm busy again, you know, working, working overtime. Anytime I'm not working, I'm fishing, and and at that, that same time, I'm, I love watching river monsters and I love the exploration. Like I, I, it's cool that it catches big fish, but I just I love the exploration more of it than anything. And, and also YouTube is growing at that time. And this is where I first get in contact with YouTube. My first contact with YouTube really was just like watching basketball highlights. You know, I'm like, let me look up the Kentucky basketball highlights or look up dunks, the top Tracy McGrady dunks, you know, stuff like that. And, um, and you know, my brother-in-law and, you know, he's like showing me these YouTube videos to catch these catch giant bass or this. So I'm like, hey, this YouTube thing's pretty cool. Let me find someone that does creek fishing. Um, I don't really see anybody that really does creek fishing at this time. Now, I couldn't find anybody. I, like, I would, I'd, there would be a couple people that have a video about it, but they, I'd see people catch fish and they don't even know what they're catching. I'm like, like I, I want to be able to know what all these different fish are. And there's not a like a, a big, I don't see like a main channel that does it. I think about it for a while and I'm starting thinking, you know, why don't I start making these, making videos? I'm like, how hard can it be? I never had a laptop, never had a computer, never had a camera. And I'm like, you know what? I think I will. Also, what led to this is uh, I'd sold my house back in Clarksville, so I had a little bit of savings, and uh, I was living in an apartment. So I'm like, I'll take. I think I, I think I told myself, I think I'll take two thousand dollars just to start making videos. What I didn't realize, I didn't even need to do that. I, I, just, I didn't know anything about it. I could have started with my phone or my my uh, phone and camera and different things. But anyway, so I was like, I will. I want to be serious about giving this thing a good effort. So I buy a laptop, buy a camera, and I go out the first day and film my cousins, take my cousin or my cousin and my nephew out and make my first video. The camera died halfway through. We didn't even get all the fish that were on there. And I put a video out. And I'm and um it you know, then I make a couple videos and I'm like, ah, these are terrible. I throw them away. I, I learn how to try to learn how to edit, find a software that I'm trying to figure out. Um, just starting to try to do camera. Then, you know, after a few months I'm like, oh I need a GoPro. I oh, I need I need I want to be able to walk around and make videos. I don't want to just have to set one up. Oh, I want to be able to do this. I'll do that. So I'm, I'm just like, I'm diving head into it. At the same time, I'm working like 45, 50 hours a week, easy, and uh, plus church and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm really busy, but I 
And I wanted to start, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make the videos I, the way I want to make them. I don't care. I'm not out here. I'm not making them to please people. I'm not making them to show, you know, something crazy. But just to have an adventure, maybe hopefully catch some big fish sometime. Hopefully catch some small fish and show the species and the colors and the, the different variety of what's in these streams. And, and like, I'm going to make videos the way I want to make them. And if people don't like it, I don't care. I don't expect a lot of people to, to like them. If I can get a few hundred subscribers, maybe make a you know hundred dollars a month just to keep doing what I'm doing, that would be awesome. That was kind of my goal. After so 2016, the summer of 2016, I make my first video. I don't even know how many videos I made. I think I made like 20 videos maybe that summer. And throughout the winter, I didn't make a, like for three months. I didn't make a video. I didn't even know you fished in winter. I, <laughs> I was like, and then I, as I get more into it, I'm like, people fish in the winter. I'm like, who does that? Like, I never fish in the winter. It's cold out there. So, so at the end of at the end of one year, I have 200 subscribers. Yeah, that's pretty good work right there. I was pumped about that. Seriously, 200 subscribers in 12 months. That's how many. It was in 2016 I started. In June of 2017, I had 200 subscribers. But I had a couple videos that got like, I think I probably had a video by now that got like a thousand views or, you know, a few hundred. And I'm like, this, that's crazy. Even 500 people. I don't know 500 people. Who are these people that are watching my videos? You know, and I get a little bit of feedback. Like, hey, I love, love this idea or, you know, like this. Well, I'm like, hey, you know what? I like it too. I am enjoying making these videos. Also, I want to make sure people know I'm a Christian. So I'll put a, you know, a couple of like talking about church, maybe talking about you know, my testimony. And I uh, start putting verses on the end of it. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm just, it's something real simple, nothing crazy. But I want people to know that this is a clean channel. I'm a Christian. I'm going to add a Bible verse on the end. If, whether they agree or not, you know, like I said, I'm making these videos for me. And I'm going to enjoy it. So I start putting that on there. And here's the timeline. So 2016, I start. 2017, I got 200 subscribers. The next spring, 2018, this is two years in, I finally hit 1,000. April of 2018. 18, I hit a thousand subscribers. Also, that's when I bought my first kayak. Cause I wanted to like this kayaking thing sounds sounds interesting. So, 2018 in the spring, I bought a kayak, hit a thousand subscribers. I'm rolling, doing great, making like $7,500 a month. This is just what I was hoping for. I actually was better than I was hoping for, over a thousand. And um, and by August, in August that summer, I actually uh, was looking for a place to live and I. I found this house that I'm at now, and the Lord just worked that out. It was a really, really cheap house. A guy was selling it outright, didn't even have to go to a realtor. Two bedroom, small house, low payment, you know, and is perfect for me uh, as I'm working all the time. Got a low house payment, not a, lot, not a lot to upkeep and everything. October, I hit 2,000 subscribers. January of 2019, 3,000 subscribers. I'm starting to pick up some, some steam. This is pretty cool. I'm making like a couple hundred dollars a month, which is like this is this is what I was hoping for. I'm like, oh, I could go up to three, four hundred dollars a month, you know, if it keeps growing. March 2019, 4,000 subscribers, and that's when things changed. And it actually, I, I tell everybody, like people ask me, I was like, that's when I things ruined for me. I went from 4,000 subscribers making like 200, 250 dollars a month. Just like, this is a fun little hobby. This is kind of a cool little thing. Who knows, I'm, somebody might send me a new rod and reel. Somebody might, you know, find these videos and, uh, you know, reach out to me. You know, I'm starting to meet a few people from March to June. I went from 4,000 to 15,000 subscribers. To August, I had 20,000 subscribers. Averaging from March, April, May, June, July, August. It was about, about six months, I averaged $2,000 a month. I went from $200 a month to averaging $2,000 a month for like six months. At uh, this whole time, I, I'm just amazed. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm still doing what I'm doing, I'm still working, uh, doing everything the same. And I'm like, this is not, this is unbelievable. I, I never thought I could do, like, make real money off this. You see all these people out there, but you see these, like, people are me are looking at me, you're like, I could never be that guy. I'm the same thing. I was looking at these guys. Yeah, they got something I don't have. They, you know, there's, there's something that they, they're probably, you know, got this going on. They're probably got this. I am, I'm terrible at making videos. Uh, and I got over uh, 20,000 subscribers, um, getting a ton of views, just like a huge jump this spring. Within a month, I'd quit my job. 
<laughs> so I I waited up to August to tell the to, to see how this and I and I said I mean two thousand a month was less than I was making at my job. And I had to you know I, HVAC's a pretty good job, so I'm making good money. But I'd saved that money, so I've been saving, kind of waiting, and I was thought you know what I'm I'm gonna quit my job. All I could think about was making videos, making more video. I like the more videos I make, the more money I can make. Because the more videos you get out there, I, I have like two hundred uh, videos out at this time. I'm like, just think if I double that, if I have 400 videos out, I'm gonna get you know revenue, even if it's a little bit of money, but I'm gonna get a little revenue from each of those old videos. And you never know what kind of video will take off. Like uh, some videos can make $1,000, some videos can make $10. Um, you just don't know what's gonna happen. And I, you know, I'm single. Uh, at this point, I am 30, I guess 33. Yeah, I'll be 33 at that point. And I was like, I'm just gonna quit and we're gonna see what happens. In HVAC jobs, you don't have like benefits or anything. You know, you, you make good hourly rate. Uh, you work overtime. You work on call on the weekends. Like, I never had a set schedule. So that really, that and wanting to make videos and wanting to grow, that all kind of combined to just saying, I'm gonna. Get, I gave the company a month. But I was like, because I wanted to. I, I didn't want to leave them hanging out, and plus I wanted to wait till fall. So I, I gave them. I like, all right, I'm gonna give you a month, and I'm quitting. They're like, you're making. You're like, you're making that much money off YouTube. That's really going. And they're like. Dude, go for it. You know, they, they were nothing but supportive. And uh, I was I was just enthusiastic about it. I was just excited about it. I'm like, I can't wait to start doing this. So September of 2019, I'm at like 23, 24,000 subscribers, which is, I, I kind of realized, I'm like, I thought that was a lot, but I kind of, I'm at this point, I'm like, I know that's not a lot, a lot compared to you, big YouTubers. And I know that anything's possible. I know, you know, I, all this stuff, like, but I, I decided I'm just gonna quit. I'd saved up. I had like fifteen thousand dollars saved up from all the money I'd made. I, I basically I hadn't spent anything. Plus, I, you know, like I said, I, I had a decent job, so I didn't. I wasn't like going broke or anything. And I was like, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna give up my money that I know I got coming. I guaranteed money for uh, a thing on YouTube that I, a year earlier I never even imagined making an uh, accounting on it for my living. Um, so I'm like, I'm just gonna quit. I know I didn't have a health insurance at the time anyways I still don't have it yet. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I know something's gonna happen But you know stuff like that. I just I just you know, I wasn't worried about little things like what's if I if the YouTube stopped if the internet went away I go back working at HVAC or I'll go get a job somewhere. And, you know, I'm I'll, I'll find something You know, it's nothing. I, I just I just didn't care about anything crazy happening Like what if it ha I just wanted a challenge, you know, sometimes you just need a new challenge in life and uh, I'm like, it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna, you know, go bankrupt. Something, something's gonna work out. So I quit my job. I actually helped coach basketball that winter. Um, and then uh, I, first time I go to Florida, you know, for a trip down there, it was awesome. I went to the Everglades, got to do some fishing down there. It was incredible. I, it was, it was just fishing off the bridges and stuff. And like nothing, even, I didn't even go out on the guide trip or anything. It's just, it was amazing. Getting to do something like that, I was like, I would never got to do this if I hadn't I gave up my job. And just said I'm going for it. Every, every bit of money I've earned, I've spent on trips. Uh, I just got back from Virginia a couple weeks ago, and my checking account is pretty low. I'm, I'm about to get paid. I get paid on the 21st every every month, so I'm like, my, I'm about to get paid again. So I'm like, oh, I better I hope I can make it. But like everything I get, I'm saving for taxes and stuff like that, and then then I'm spending on trips. So so 20 start of 2020, January 2020, I got 35,000 subscribers. Middle of the summer, I'm up to 50,000. Uh, January 2021, January of this year, I started out with 75,000 subscribers. Right now, I'm up to 95,000. My subscriber rate has actually dropped some. Um, the revenue has gone up and down, up and down, but it always seems to like keep going up. It's uh, it's going up and down, but it always seems to keep going up. My um, subscriber rate has continued just to steadily grow. It might drop like this growth rate, but it's continuing to steadily grow. My my uh, consistent viewers, it seems, have really just that's what had really helped me out. You want to build consistent like um, viewership, whatever you call it. Just you want you want some loyal subscribers, I guess. And I have some really great uh, subscribers that every video I put out, I don't I don't even have to worry about getting a video out now being less than ten thousand views. I'm like that's that's a lot of people. I'll have videos now, I'll get twenty thirty thousand views within the first two three days. Sometimes it's you know ten twelve thousand, but you know, and I'm just putting out videos. I'm still the whole time I've been doing this. Even when I quit my job, I said I'm, I'm gonna. I'm still giving tithes. I'm still. I'm actually gonna up, upgrade, up increase what I'm giving emissions. So I had a set. I have a set amount. I've been giving emissions, and um, 
I'm still, I still was working in the church, still doing what I, whatever I can do. Um, I still spend a lot of money on kids and stuff like that. Or I get to take people fishing, get to take kids fishing, get to go meet, meet all kinds of people. I've been traveling and meeting some YouTubers, but also just meeting up with local people, just regular people, and just I am just doing. I've been trying to treat it how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enjoy it until it goes away or until I get tired of it. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm not trying to do anything fake or phony, and just. Um, I never expected it to get this far, and now that I'm here knocking on 100,000 subscribers, I, I don't even—I'm just amazed. But in all this, now looking back, it's crazy to see the steps that have led me to where I'm now. I am 100% confident that this is what the Lord wants me to do, and that's like one of the greatest feelings in the world: doing what you know you're supposed to be doing. I, you know, I never would have thought this. I, I couldn't even imagine doing something like this. And a lot of people that get into YouTube, they say, oh man, I wish I'd have started earlier. I, I would have been terrible if I'd have started earlier. I probably would have given up on it. I had to start when it was time for me to start. You know, when I had the drive to do it and the passion to do it and just the yeah, move the location, just everything that's I've gone through my life basically has led me to be able to do this, what I'm doing now. And that's hopefully true with everybody you know you go through all kinds of things or you change jobs or this happens you're like why did this not happen why didn't why didn't this girlfriend work out or why didn't uh, this job why didn't i like it as much as i thought or you know all, all these things and i now i am you know I, I was i was content doing what i was doing before but now it's like wow this this is what i need to be doing i don't know if i'll be doing this next year or not but um this is what i need to be doing right now and the lord gave me another verse for what i'm doing now Proverbs 16, 9, a man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. If you're a Christian, you're following God's will, and you're following what God wants you to do, he's going to work on your heart and, and guide you. He's going to give you desires that are, are right and things that he wants you to do. You know, if it, you know, just a, you, starting a YouTube video, that could take up a lot of time. It could be, you know, a distraction. It could, it could you know, be a hindrance maybe to some things. But it was something I had a desire to do, you know, and just like I, I like playing sports and I know that's, I've, you know, used that as a help for, uh, as being a witness, you know, getting to play basketball with people or doing with this. Everybody's got something that they have a desire. It may be taking pictures or, or making funny jokes or something like that on Instagram. Some of those things are really, are, can be a really good reach. There's so many different things out there. It may be, you know, mowing yards or, or designing um, houses or, you know things in ha decorating houses something there's there's everything everybody's got a gift or a skill that god has given them and if you're following his will he, he's going to help you do more of that he's going to he's going to provide you with you know opportunities to use that and to be a witness i know that i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing to be a witness and i'm ho I, hopefully i'm doing right and i'm praying that i'm doing the best i can with it i don't want to take it for granted i'm not gonna hopefully never get like well you know just take all these subscribers for granted just take all everything i've gotten all the you know, experiences or the money or this. And I, that's I, my drive is also, you know, I don't want to be driving just for the money, you know. And if you're starting a YouTube video and you're just, you're doing it for the money, it might work out. But you, you're probably going to have a point where you don't like it, you know. I, I started this channel to make these fishing videos. I, I hear from people that inspired them to do more fishing or just to uh, have more enjoyment while fishing. And um, I, I'm get, I run into people all the time that are just like, I enjoy that, I love that. Sometimes they're like, I love the clean content. I love the Bible verses. You know, there's, there's lots of different things that I never would have thought I was gonna get out of this. And, it all, and you know, it didn't all start, it all started a long time ago, uh, following God's will and doing what he wants me to do. And then, and then the videos just started as like, you know, I just, I got a desire to do that. I wanna try to do that. So if you have a desire or something that you want to try to do, I mean, just, just try it. What's the worst that could happen? And if you don't know for sure you're saved, you know, you, you need to be saved. You need to ask Jesus to come in heart and save you. Trust in him. He will help guide you. I know for sure he's helped guided me. Um, is there, is, could this channel fail or could I get demonetized or could I, you know, anything could happen? Yes, that could happen. But I know that I'm doing what's right so far up to this point. Hopefully I keep doing that and uh, hopefully people keep enjoying the videos and keep making them. So now I've made over a hundred thousand dollars. I it took me four years and ten months to make a hundred thousand dollars. So pretty much five years, five years of work to get up to a hundred thousand dollars. Of course, the first two years I probably didn't make over two hundred dollars. Well, hopefully this helps some people out and just maybe inspires some people to keep on pushing. Maybe you have a desire that you you want, and you're like, you know what? I just need to keep on doing that. 
and keep on pushing. As long as it ain't interfering with you know other other responsibilities, just keep on keep driving, keep trying to do. It. If you if you're enjoying doing it, and don't don't. Now my, my biggest thing was I wasn't gonna I'm not gonna make videos if I don't enjoy doing it. Well, I'm not really sure how to wrap this up. It's hard for me to end these kind of videos, and it's hard, I always hopefully I get everything in there that I wanted to get in there. And that was a lot of talking, a long video, but uh, I'm, I'm just gonna end it out by I'm gonna praise the Lord for what he's gave me to do. And if you have a desire, something that you want to do, just, just go for it. Just, just try it. If it's, if it's something that's right and it's a, it's a good thing, just use it. Um, God's given us abilities to do different things and, um, just go for it. Try to see what can happen with it. You know, maybe you'll learn that it's not right. Maybe it's not the right time and maybe it'll take off and do well, uh, like my channel did. So I thanks so much for all the support. I can't speak for anybody else's channel or have any idea like what other people, how much they're making or how long it took them to make a hundred thousand. But five years of work, I made a hundred thousand and I'm, I'm seeing growth. I signed this 2021. I signed a contract with, uh, the biggest contract I've ever signed outside of YouTube, um, which is the, uh, Pradco, uh, rebel and those brands. And that, that, that was one of those things that just worked out perfectly. It was stuff I'd love to use. Um, I'm, I may have some rod and reel companies that I work with in the future. I'm, I'm not working with any rod and reel companies right now. I've ended all those, just my decision. Um, so I have a, just a, just the lures I'm working with and stuff like that. So anything could change in the future though, but I'm, I want to, I don't want to make myself have to use, do something or use something I don't really enjoy or, or don't, you know, feel comfortable with. So I'm, I'm taking my time being picky and I got a couple people I'm talking to soon and we'll see what happens from that. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you made it to the end, hope you do subscribe. And <laughs> if you don't like watching fishing videos, then you probably shouldn't watch these channel, this channel. So I'm gonna get back to some of my fishing videos. Hopefully the next one coming up will be a good one.